Hello! In this video we will compute the Jordan normal form of a 3 by 3 matrix with one eigenvalue and two Jordan blocks. We consider the following matrix. A is equal to 4, 2, minus 1, 0, 2, 0, 4, 4, 0. And the characteristic polynomial is equal to x minus 2, cubed. Again, we want to find a matrix S such that S times A times S is in Jordan normal form and we call the columns of S V1, V2, V3. We start by computing the eigenspace of this matrix for the eigenvalue 2. So we have to compute A minus twice the unit matrix times a vector V has to be 0, which is the same as 2, 2, minus 1, 0, 0, 0, 4, 4, minus 2 times V has to be 0. So this is equivalent to the condition that um, the first and twice the first entry plus twice the second entry equal the third entry. This row gives us nothing and this gives us the same condition as the first one. So the vector V is of the form A B 2A plus 2B. And the eigenspace consists of those two vectors a, 0, 2a, 0, b, 2b. So the eigenspace of the matrix A for the eigenvalue 2 is the span of 1, 0, 2, 0, 1, 2. And we know that we can already choose two of the vectors to be those two vectors. We only have to compute the third vector and we have to see to which eigenvector it belongs. So we have two linear independent eigenvectors. That means we have two Jordan blocks. But since we have only three entries on the diagonal, one Jordan block has to be of size 2 and the other Jordan block has to be of size 1. So we try um, the condition a minus 2 times e times v3 is equal to this vector which is equivalent to 2 2, minus 1, 0, 0, 0, and 4, 4, minus 2, times our vector v3 <coughs> has to be equal to 0, 1, 2. Okay, we see that in this matrix, the third row is a multiple of the first row, but in this vector, the third entry is not a multiple of the first entry. So there is no vector v3 that fulfills this condition. And we know that this vector 0, 1, 2, this eigenvector belongs to the Jordan block of size 1. Now we have to compute this condition where we put here the other eigenvector. So we have A minus twice the unit matrix times V3 has to be equal to 1, 0, 2, which is equivalent to 2, 2, minus 1, 0, 0, 0, 4, 4, minus 2 times V3 is equal to 1, 0, 2. 
Here we see that the third row is still, of course, twice the first row, but now we also have that in the vector here. The third entry, entry is twice the first entry. So we only have to fulfill this condition, twice the first entry plus twice the second entry minus the third entry equals 1. And we can take v3 to be 0, 0, minus 1. Now we have to write the, the vectors that we computed into our base change matrix. We start with just any eigenvector. Let's start with this one. 1, 0, 2. And since the vector that we computed here belongs to this eigenvector, we have to write it next to the eigenvector in the, in the columns of the matrix. 0, 0, minus 1. Next, we write the last eigenvector, 0, 1, 2. So we have to compute the inverse matrix, s to the minus 1, which is just 1, 0, 0, 2, 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 0. We can do that, for example, with the Gauss algorithm. And then we have that s to the minus 1 times a times s is in Jordan form. And since we started with the vectors that belong to the Jordan block of size 2, this comes first. And then the last eigenvector, which corresponds to a Jordan block of size 1. In the next video, we will see an example of a matrix with Jordan normal form with two eigenvalues and two blocks.